for the tap block, uh, the space is Pettit's triangle between the lower border of the costal margin and the anterior superior iliac spine, uh, just about in the uh, anterior axillary line is where the block's going. So we find those four muscles with the internal oblique being the biggest muscle, go through the fascia, go through the internal oblique, through the fascia of the transversalis, and then you're in the space between the transversalis and the internal uh, abdominal oblique. Again, we give a little test dose. We see that anechoic spread of those two muscles, and then the nurses change the syringe, and we put 30 cc's per side of a mixture of Expirel and saline. So I'm starting between the costal margin and the anterior superior iliac spine and almost at the anterior axillary line. The further out I go, really the better the block's going to be. I'm going to put this through the skin and we're just going to follow the needle down and I can feel it go through the external abdominal bleed and I'm right on the internal. I just felt it pop through the internal. Okay, give a test dose. Oh, now I'm in the internal so I'm going to back up and go a little further. Okay, test dose again. There we go, okay, switch over. So that little bit of flash that you saw was in the internal, and now I'm in the correct plane. Okay. All right, feels good. Feels good, easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 10. And you can see the muscles just 15. spreading. Yeah, the fish mouth, yeah. 20. And there's the needle sitting right in that plane. I'm wiggling it so you can see it on the video. Yeah, good. And there's the image of, see the internal oblique being split? And then there's the transversalis below and all the medications sitting there right between the muscles. So that's exactly what we want to see. And as you can see, the, these blocks don't take very long. They're, they're simple to do, and the patients really do uh, appreciate the time and effort that we uh, place uh, in doing that.